Yeah, well, um, my messy YouTube channel came back to haunt me. Uh, as I would have said in my profile, this is my journey. I'm documenting it through YouTube. I've had the channel for quite a bit. And there's parts of it are quite messy because I've been posting on it for quite a while and maybe not on, on a, a set direction. Um, and that sometimes messy approach bit me in the bum this week. Um, I've had to do a tidy up in my channel and I'm still working on that as I got a copyright strike horror email. And it was one on a really old video that I saved onto my channel for easy access and for use with children that I work with. And I'd left it in public mode. In truth, I hadn't used it in a long time and I'd forgotten it was there. So lesson learned, it might be totally my own fault and I'm currently in a clean up of the channel. And yes, I went to copyright school and will have the strike removed, thank goodness. But that will take a little bit of time as I'll explain now. Copyright strikes, how do they actually affect your channel? Well, they'll obviously adversely affect your channel. The copyright holder can completely remove your video from YouTube. You may not be able to monetize your own YouTube videos. If a strike is against a live stream, you may lose live streaming privileges for up to 90 days. Three copyright strikes will result in channel termination. Copyright strikes expire after 90 days, although deleting content doesn't fix this. You need to attend copyright school. Yes, you do need to attend copyright school, which I've gone to. That was a bit of an education in itself. But again, when I went there, it was down to me having been silly and not actually paying attention. Probably done the video a lot earlier than I, you know, on YouTube and wasn't fully aware of all the implications, but I am now. Um, but there is a 90 day wait period for it to be cleared up and three live strikes in that time would mean channel removal, hence the cleanup. Also, the fact that I'd just been monetized to the strike really frightened me as I've worked long and hard to get to this point. Uh, I've also, if this has ever happened, let me know in your comments. And also, I'm starting a piece in the community section on it. I have also done a survey of my clickable links, and I feel that they're possibly hindering rather than helping some of the videos. So I'm getting rid of them as well. Total clear out. And I'll just concentrate on the videos for a while. Um, I'm not necessarily aiming at any potential avatar of a customer. And that's down to what I'm about. Indeed, as part of what I decided to do is just double down on YouTube as my main platform. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and X, Twitter, whatever it's called now. Um, and I tend to find I have a reasonable following. I am the biggest following I have is on youtube and, and so uh, that's where i'm concentrating my work i am looking to build a community but i'm still struggling with use of the community section on youtube if any of you are in the same boat drop me a line in the comments maybe you have found a way to get better engagement in this section so if you have let me know i'd be really interested not only for myself obviously but also to share it with others um I, as I said, I'm not even at any particular person. This is me on my over 60 senior YouTube journey. I'm using myself as the niche. And while my shorts will tend towards golf clips and some instruction videos, my longer content is going to focus more on myself and the three main areas that I tend to talk about a lot. My journey towards the end of my teaching career, which has become a major thing this year because it is my last year in education and on how I'm transitioning to full-time YouTube as a consequence of that. Also, my senior golf experiences, as I'm a senior golfer, obviously because of my age, um, the handicap and uh, you know all of the things that come with that and how a uh, senior golfers cope. So uh, you know there's a lot of that going on as well. And of course, Manchester United, which is a struggle at the moment, but we are getting there, positive result at the weekend. So things looking up. There will be comments on other topics of interest as we travel through, but these will tend to be the main focus of my content. I'm also probably looking to expand my podcast experience, particularly through The Green, which is a golf-centered podcast, and I'm hoping to include some course videos in it as well. 
Well, that's it for the long term plan. Um, but for now, I'm Jerry. I'm a senior YouTuber. And of course, I need to get this channel cleared up. So back to that. And I'll see you in the next one.